Alright guys, this is DocM and today I want to show you how to install custom skins for Cube World. Um, I got this one here, was made for me by Impure Death, um, posted on the Minecraft Reddit, thanks a lot bro. And yeah, it looks really cool. This is normally a mage, like the skull guy. And yeah, I want to quickly show you how to do it. There's a nice tool, so let's check it out. Okay guys, so let's do that. First of all, you need to download a new launcher for Cube World. The Cube World launcher from here. Download link in the video description. Check it out. This is from the Cube World forums. You will end up with a file just like that, the Cube World launcher. And then you open up your Cube World installation file. For me, it's on a solid state here and then Cube World. Into this file, you put the Cube World launcher. Um, make sure to start it once. So let's do that. When you start the launcher, let's allow it here. Um, let's quickly bring that over so you can see. Um, it will process once and it will stop halfway. It will not keep on going here. So don't be confused. Um, it will just stop. Um, it will create a folder here, Cubeboard Launcher, and this folder is important for you. Um, this is where you have to put your skins. Inside this folder, Cubeboard Launcher, there is a skins folder. And inside this folder, you create your own new folder. I called it docm, just the yeah, new uh, folder, and then name it whatever you like to. And um, yeah, of course, you need a skin file too. So I've got a one example here. Um, this is the file that was done for me. This is the undead head and hair modified uh, to look like my Creeponator skin here. Um, pretty cool. So yeah, you download these two files. Um, this is um, so-called cube files. Um, and then you just put them in your new folder here, the docm folder or yeah, however you named it. And that will now replace the undead hair and undead head. So it will always replace uh, one of your characters. Um, you cannot like add new ones, it will just reskin existing ones. And then I picked an undead mage, yeah, that is what I have now. So, um, let's bring the launcher back. Here we go. Um, after you're done with that, you click reload skin list and your folder should show up here, docm77 skins. What you do next is you just select that and yeah, copy it over and then you click on skin. Okay, it says this may take a while and it actually can take a while. It goes through all the skins in the game and replaces them all. You can see buildings, cats, uh, you know, desert, all kinds of stuff. And yeah, you just wait for the program to finish and yeah, after that you're good to go. So let's do that real quick. All right, after a short time, it will say skinning complete. For me, it took about a minute. Um, it says it can take up to 10 minutes if you have a slow computer, so be a bit patient. But yeah, skinning complete. And now if you click on play, the game will launch just as you're used to, but with the new skin. So always make sure um, now, if you want to play with the retextured characters, to start the game from this launcher. And that's about it. You don't have to do it every time, only once. And of course, you can restore the original. Um, always make sure when you patch, you should probably make a backup of your complete uh, Cube World um, file here. So you have it somewhere safe and you can restore it easily. In case something goes wrong, you always know how it is with these mods. And yeah, that's about it. So make sure to check out the website, Cube World forums. There's a lot of useful information there and of course nice and useful tools just like this one. I hope you found this video useful. Make sure to leave a like, share it a bit. I think a lot of people should be interested in installing their custom skins for the game. I'm out. Bye!